Hello, lovely people of the interwebs. Um, this is the Bat Mini Painter here. Today we are painting off uh, Uftak Blackhawk. I, I've decided that that is how I'm going to pronounce the, the name of this Betty. So I'm kind of playing around with the, um, with the format of my videos and trying to make them a little bit more engaging. So please let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Um, it's 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 still the same thing. I paint stuff and tell you what paints I use. I, I do a pretty bad job at it and uh, we can all have a good laugh about it. Um, but I want to make my content more engaging uh, because I, I do get a lot of views but it's not a lot of you that are actually watching the entire video. So let's do something about that because that means that I'm doing something wrong, right? Anywho, uh, primed and white, uh, great bone, white so off-white. And uh, my favorite uh, contrast, uh, Gut Ripper Flesh. Um, I used to struggle with uh, orc skins, uh, <laughs> applying three or four different kinds of green to, to actually get the kind of orc flesh that, that I like. And that's uh, a bright, vibrant one with, uh, with nice shading. And uh, this uh, Citadel contrast just solves this for me uh, instantly. Um, it's, it's a bit dark when it goes on, but as soon as it dries, it... it as most paints do, become a little bit lighter, and it's it's just it's exactly the tone that I want. Uh, next, Abaddon Black for that look, um, cape cloak cape. It's a cape, and uh, and also for his pants, and um, I I think that's it. Um, and I'm I'm really trying the whole uh, thin down your paints, uh, two thin coats, three thin coats instead of one uh, efficient uh, thick coat. So hopefully the end result is a little bit better. Uh, but I'm really uh, applying myself to remember to like, fl uh, thin down my paints. Uh, for the squeak, squeak orange. It's 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 fairly easy to to get a, a good paint job on the squeaks using uh, using this one and then some shade. Uh, next, Morphang uh, Brown, and that's for all the straps, uh, leather bags, and um, uh, the handle on his uh, Hammer X thing. Also, the, the boots. I, I give them uh, a tender loving layer of uh, Morphang Brown as well. And we're still in the early stages where I don't have to mind all the other details that much. Which is a, a good stage for me. Because it's, it's hard to fuck things up. And, and next, Lead Belcher. Funnily enough for all the metal parts. So that's the, the hammer, uh, the, 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 the pole uh, holding on up the back... Bad Moon's uh, emblem, the gun, uh, generally just, you know, all the metal. I use lead belcher. And it, it is a fun model to paint, but there was some hard to reach areas, and I, I'm not a huge fan of those. I decided to use uh, Dawnstone for uh, the pouch on his uh, belly and also for the straps on his arm holding the gun and uh, that's just to add some variation to be honest i think there was a lot of brown already so i wanted to mix it up a little bit uh, the inside of his mouth uh, gets a quick touching of uh, pink horror so the tongue basically Uh, screaming skull for all the little teeth uh, around on his uh, cloak, and uh, yeah, well, they're pretty much all over on him. And uh, of course, his uh, teeth and the teeth of the the squeak squeak uh, gets uh, a light touch of uh, screaming skull as well. Uh, I decided to use Covers Black for all the wires, uh, and it's because it's it's a, a off black, um, so it looks a little bit more rubbery, latexy. So I, I like that better for stuff like that. Uh, 
Carabur Crimson to shade the squeak. And a fairly heavy layer, and then I use my brush to suck up the, the excess. Uh, and now it's time for the first wash, and I go all over with the brown wash from Vallejo. It's a generic, just brown wash, and it, it works really well, both if you want the little dirty, the metal to look a little dirty, and also for everything leather and fabric. Mephisto Red for uh, some select wires here and there, and for his hair thing. Not hair, but the, the red tassel thing. I'm a bob. And then I went in with um, Bat Moon Yellow uh, contrast paint from Citadel. It's a quite thin but very vibrant uh, yellow. So it's almost uh, neon like uh, when it comes on. But I'm going to shade it later and that will bring down the vibrancy quite a bit because it's, it's honestly a bit too much. Uh, when you look at the camera it's almost like it's it's uh, it's burning. Um, so that's definitely a color that uh, needs to be dulled down just a little bit. I decided to use a thinned out version of Coleman Flesh, also contrast, also Citadel, uh, for the inside of the cloak. And, uh, Yeah, uh, has not cover um, for select metal decorations. Yes, so I kind of look at the box and uh, then I just added it here and there where I felt like uh, the the lead belcher needed to be broken up a little bit to again add some interest. Now I'm shading all the uh, bad moons yellow with the seraphim sepia. And again, it was really, really bright. So uh, a light shade will uh, bring out the details uh, again and um, and dull it down quite a bit. Uh, for the black parts on uh, on uh, the metal, I use Black Templar, also Contrast, also Citadel. And I do that because it adds um, the, the wear and tear automatically. So uh, I don't have to dry brush it uh, with a metal to make it look a little bit worn. Uh, I use Incubi uh, Darkness for his nails and to add highlighting on his cape. Um, I found that uh, highlighting black with Incubi Darkness um, gives a, a pretty nice effect. So that's kind of my go-to if I have to, uh, to highlight back, uh, black uh, fabric. And next I do uh, Deathclaw Brown from Citadel, uh, heavily thinned down to highlight all the leather. Sunset Purple from Scale 75 for the tongue and lips on the squig. I thinned it down quite a bit, so it kind of acted like a contra uh, contrast, and the end result actually was good enough. A spaceship exterior from uh, Army Painter to just add little dots where uh, on the sharpest edges on the cloak. And now it's time for some freehanding, something I'm quite terrible at, um, but he has flames on his cloak and I want to give him flames on the cloak, so I, I decided, okay, fuck it, I'll, I'm going to try. So Skulker Yellow from Two Thin uh, Coats is a, is a yellow that has a decent pigmentation, and since I'm painting over black, I'm not going to try to do that with any uh, Citadel yellows. Uh, yellow Flame, also from Two Thin Coats, it's a brighter yellow. And uh, I kind of uh, paint on the inside of the already applied uh, Skulker Yellow. 
and it's basically just to add a little bit more vibrancy and uh, some uh, variations. So you saw how I put down the brush there. Fun fact about me is I'm I'm blind on one eye, so I don't have depth perception in the same way that you have. So actually putting the brush on the model can be a challenge for me. So now you know that. Fanatic Orange also from two thin coats to add uh, well orange to the flames, and I do that uh, near the uh, bottom because it just looked cool. Finally, I do a 50-50 Magic Blue and Holy White, both from Army Painter. And I add the plasma glowy thing and uh, the, the lenses here and there. And a little bit of uh, glow around on the hammer. And this is the end result. So. I, I call my videos fast, fast and easier. Well, often I do. And this wasn't fast because I wanted to do not a shitty job. So I tried to do not a shitty job. And that, that, well, you be the judge whether or not it was a shitty job. I think it's, it's, it's tabletop standard. Tabletop ready. Plus a little extra. I don't know. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, seek mental help, but also subscribe and uh, please do leave a like. If you strongly dislike this kind of content, you can still help me by disliking it, because YouTube is kind of fucked up, so even if you don't like content and you interact with it, it promotes it. So, do that. Thank you. And, have an awesome day. Thank you for your time. I know it's valuable. And uh, I will hopefully see you soon for another upload. Bye.